What's going on YouTube? I'm excited to share with you the shoe haul that I had on Wednesday. So I went out and I hit the thrift and found some shoes that I wanted and I got the buy cost down to a dollar per pair. So every pair you see here is gonna be one dollar per pair. And the way that I figure this out is you have how much you spent and then um, you divide that by the amount of shoes you had. And I spent $27 and I ended up getting 27 pairs of shoes. And with that, I took some risk. You're gonna see some risky things um, whenever I go over these shoes with you. Um, I typically stay away from risk, but whenever I was able to get my buy cost down to a dollar, um, it gave me some boldness here. Um, but I'm confident I'm gonna make quite a bit of money off this haul. So let's go ahead and hop in and see what I got. The first pair I'm really excited about is a pair of Flyknit Vapor Maxes. So these are the Nike Vapor Max Flyknits. Um, whenever you get these Air Maxes, you always want to check the air bubbles to make sure that um, that they're not popped. So these are um, in really good shape. None of the bubbles are popped. So um, this is going to pay easily for everything here easily with some profit so nike vapor maxes and then i got a pair of um these smoky mountain boots so smoky mountain cowboy style boots i don't really know the brand this is one that i kind of took a flyer on i don't know the brand well and you guys know me i don't i don't typically play around with risk but these shoes will fetch easily a dollar because they're in really good shape. They're not peeling or anything like that. And then the next ones I love are for, or Allbirds. Allbirds are an amazing brand to pick up. They sell really well. And um, when they're in good shape, they're going to sell really well again, $1. And I'm sure that these people, the same person donated them. Same size, except a white pair of the Allbirds. So it's probably the same person donated them. So with these, they're really light. Um, but I could sell these with them being the same size together and um, save on shipping there for the customer. I typically don't do free shipping on my products. But um, to save, I can save the buyer shipping. You, you always want to do that when you can. Um, if you don't do free shipping. Next are some other Nike running shoes. You can see that they're a little bit dirty, um, but also this color kind of, it kind of looks dirty. Um, but these are another pair of Nike um, fly knit running shoes. Really good. And then um, these... They look like the Birkenstocks. These are, again, um, the Earth Spirit you saw last time. But you can see um, I messed up. I wasn't paying enough attention, attention to these. You've got quite a bit of wheel, um, heel wear here. And then you've got some mess up there. So these, honestly, I probably won't sell these just because I don't want my name to be on these shoes. Um, so... That's a reason you got to pay attention to what you're doing, even when you're paying a dollar per pair. Um, this isn't a fatal mistake for me because I paid a dollar for them, but you don't want to pay upwards of seven to ten dollars for a pair of shoes that aren't good. So that's a mess up right there. And you can see I probably won't sell these. And then we've got a pair of these Nike SB shoes they're in really good shape they need cleaned up some um grandma's famous shoe cleaner will get these cleaned right up and if you want grandma's shoe cleaner um, i'm gonna put a link down in the bio so that you can get this great shoe cleaner um here i i'm not sponsored by them or anything but i use their product and it's very good for cleaning shoes so i'll get these cleaned up and sold pair of doc martin flip-flops. Doc Martens, um, they are worn, they are used, but Doc Martens, man, they last forever. So Doc Martens are good to get um, even in like used condition, but they'll clean up and they'll look good. And for a dollar, can't beat it. 
Now we got a pair of Sperry's right here. So these are pretty cool Sperry's. Um, another mess up, again, another pair of shoes that I probably won't sell. You can see right there, right there, um, that there's a little hole. It looks like somebody's um, pinky toe kind of rubbed it. And yeah, so again, another pair that I wasn't paying attention. You have to always be paying attention and check the shoes over really well or you're gonna run into this so far. I, I mean, I found two pairs of shoes um, that I probably won't sell just because I don't want my customer to get that. Or if I do sell these, I will be sure to put in my description and take a lot of pictures of it so that the customer knows that their hard earned money is getting spent on what they're getting and they'll be at a way discounted price. And then you know me, you know what's next, the Crocs. Camo Crocs. These are gonna sell really well, really quick. The shipping is super easy on them, but Crocs, you know I love them. Got a pair of really cool um, kids Converse. Um, you can see kind of the color change and stuff. Yeah, they're in really good shape. And here's a little teaching moment for you. So. If you've ever owned Converse, you know this to be true, that they start to peel around the edge here if they're, if they're going to peel. So whenever you do it, you got to make sure that you do the twist test on them to make sure that they're in good shape. But for a dollar, I mean, the good profits in them. A new brand, uh, not a new brand, but a new brand for me are these Skechers. I've been doing really good with the Sanooks that have the... Um, the like yoga mat feel. I've been selling a bunch of those. And I saw that these have that same type. Um, and I was getting them for a dollar. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try out a new brand. Like I said, I've got a, I know for sure I'm getting my profits back, but I took a lot of flyers on some new brands for me that I typically don't sell um, just because that's what my supplier had. And what the thrift shops have is what you got to go with and you want to constantly be having inventory. So, boom. Another pair of Crocs, baby. You know I love them Crocs, but these are the Crocs flip-flops. Just know, Croc brand typically sells good. It doesn't really matter what it is. The original Crocs, like those camo ones, they do the best, but... Um, pretty much anything Croc sells. Here we go. Got them J's, baby. Got some Jordans. Um, really good shape. Um, but, yeah, these Jordans, I mean, for a dollar, can't beat it. Here we go, baby. Another pair of fancy crocs so these are crocs but they're super fancy they still need to be cleaned um, all of these shoes are the way that i bought them um, i haven't cleaned them yet but these will clean up really easy and they'll sell really well you can see the heel on them but these will sell really well and then some new balance these are good i've sold multiple pairs of these you can see on the bottom that they have very little wear. These are good shoes. These are This is a really popular style that's gonna sell really quick. And then I'm really excited about these, excited to see how they do so. So I do well with Chacos. You've got the, with all the straps over them. But I found a pair of Chaco flip-flops. So I don't know how they're gonna do. I know um, when you have a solid brand like Chaco, um, people tend to buy whatever it is. Chacos, Hoka's, I mean, all those brands, they do really well. Another flyer brand that I didn't know is Totes. You can see Totes, I don't know. Um, they feel like Crocs. So I wanted to try them out just to see because they're in really good shape, very minimal wear. So I'm curious to see what they're worth. I still ha I haven't looked them up yet, um, but I'm I'm pretty excited. I like to try out new brands. Um, I don't recommend buying stuff without looking it up. But I was getting these. I mean, my buy cost was down to a dollar. So um, take a flyer sometimes and learn from it. 
So here's a brand that I have not sold yet, but I've heard about that are really good, and that's Vionic. These are some Vionic flip-flops. I've had um, really good, I've heard really good things about them. Um, so we're gonna give them a try and see how we do with Vionic flip-flops. Okay, some Nike Reacts. I was really surprised whenever I found these. These are some Nike React. Um, these are fly knit as well. So um, really good shoes. Um, I expect to bring quite a bit in on these. These will probably pay for all of these shoes here. So um, when you have shoes like this and you find them at the price that I found them, then definitely worth picking up. And then I've got these Nike Airs. Um, they don't have any wear on them anywhere. Um, I don't think they're worth a ton of money, but again, a dollar, when you get your buy cost down to a dollar, um, you're able to check these out and see what you can get. But a dollar into 15 bucks, not bad. And then you can see these are pretty dirty. Um, you know, there's the brand. They're really cool. Kind of getting ready for the winter months. Um, I don't have very many boots in my um, in my inventory, so I wanted to focus more on some boots so that once the winter time comes, I'm able to have boots um, stocked up and ready to go. So I picked these up, one dollar. They've got that like duck boot look. They're in really good shape, other than they just need to be cleaned off. The good thing about these is they're rubber. So they're gonna clean up really easy and they're gonna look really good. And then I don't know anything about tap shoes, but I found these tap shoes. So I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna see how they do. I don't know if they don't do well, then I'll just go donate them to a, some tap dancing school or place or whatever i mean i took a flyer dollar a piece i'm happy with that we're going to see what they sell for again you hear me saying i don't know how they're going to do that is not a good thing to do unless you have a really low buy cost so these are a dollar so dollar a piece so if i messed up i lost a couple bucks but when you're in the beginning stages especially don't take risk when you've been selling for a bit and you've got quite a bit of money built up in your business account, then you can take calculated risk. And these are calculated risk for me being just a dollar a piece. So if it does bad, it's not gonna be detrimental to my business. The last pairs of shoes I've got are these pair of Tevas right here um, super cool um, they're gonna need a little bit of cleaning but these are some super cool shoes and this brand does really well so um, I'll just take a brush to this bottom clean it up um, clean up around the front but overall these shoes are in great condition just a little bit dirty um, they're worth the clean um, worth the time to clean because it's gonna be super simple super quick get it done then I got a pair of these Coleman boots, really cool hiking boots. Um, just in, they're in really good shape and you can tell that they're good quality. Um, plus they're Coleman brand, which is a well-known brand, um, a popular brand um, in the camping and outdoor world. So yeah, for a dollar, couldn't pass them up. Last pair are these old school, I think they're old school Reeboks. Um, these uh, are pretty popular these days. Um, the teens love them and these are in great shape. So um, another one there for a dollar, you can't pass them up, they're a good size. Um, they're relatively clean. I'll just take a wet a cloth and clean them up um, with some cleaner on the midsoles and stuff. But overall, they're in, a good, they're in good shape. Um, I want to thank you guys for checking this video out again. I would love it if you would like, share, um, 
and get this out to other people, um, especially people who are excited about reselling. But I want you to know that reselling is not easy. Um, getting to this point where you're able to get shoes for a dollar, it takes a lot of work, a lot of networking, and a lot of meeting people who are doing what you're doing. It doesn't just happen overnight. My buy cost was in the upwards of $10, and I've worked really hard to get it down. So I don't want you to think, oh, I can just go to the thrift um, and do this. Because it's, it's, that's just not realistic. It takes time to learn the rhythms, meet people who are doing what you're doing, learn from them um, so that you can have a successful business. So in the beginning, if there's one thing you can take from this, don't take risk. Check your comps. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, for another video. If you would like and subscribe um, to the channel so that you can keep up with all of the shoes that I'm getting and I can give you tips on how to get your buy costs down and also just show you what I'm getting. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you next time.